Not lovely. Yeah. Let's see if this Multiple is going to work. Multiple choice. Them. Yep. Oh, this is a good one. dead. This is a good one. Tombstone down, and they don't actually hit the flame get up on Samel just yet. Now he turns it on, but oh, the slam nice. down, he dodges it with a slide of fist. There's a lot of creeps. They have to wait. The searing chains grab three. It bought time for crit to arrive, trying to get rid of the tombstone. Fear will rotate back over again. Noticing in this situation is that SCCC has played the top <laughs> lane, and he was two levels higher than the mid laner of the Radiant side, which is very That's unusual, so but it's just by virtue of having these like 40 denies. Oh, oh dodge again. Again. again! He makes it look easy! There is no extra heal for Faith to help out his mid, but SEC this time's gonna burn the Sonic Wave. It clips the edge of the Wyvern. And two heroes from EG being secured by Newbie at the cost of their Monkey King. The tier one trade down bottom, and they will get it. bottom tower has fallen. Radiance a bit of a game of who's going to force back who first. It's a hefty Dyer's push up top, of course, with the Phantasms out from Costa Bill. Radiant's top tower is under keeping themselves safe in the, the sideline, so they can't get the jump on the main hero. It's on me. They're going to kick things off, and it's a pretty nice hook shot. Straight in the midst of it all. Catches Barnino. Wrong. Oh, he just gets ripped apart by Costa Bill. They'll Dyer's lose the Vengeful Spirit. The other core now jumping in with the Echo, locking down the Lina. They'll pop the Aegis. Jamming was able to finish off the Shakira, but he himself, all down low. Theo's got the lockdown with the Enchant. Totem and the birth of Metriano. They'll Dyer's find a second SG. GGG's coming, trying to turn the fight around, but already three dead on Keen Gaming. Can GGG turn it around with the help of Dark? It doesn't look like it. SG still standing pretty strong. The post that forces himself away, fighting out the life stealer. Theo Lacour still alive. Adriano picks up a triple. Still GGG. He's the big threat. Theo Lacour getting the blink out in time. Adriano is also going to be fine as well. They'll just look to reset. But that is the Aegis gone, and Liquid, they don't find a major objective with it themselves. <laughs> I remember one of the first times I watched Miracle, he was playing TA, and he would just love to meld on to uh, Cliffs and just do the double melt strike. That was one of his signature moves when he first started out. That kind of reminded me of that, just, you know, setting a trap, testing how aware they are. But And it nearly, well, it didn't, no, it didn't. Nah, yeah, there was no way they working. <laughs> no. It was good fun though. Mid lane, look at this smoke from King Gaming. Miracle's gonna jump into the midst of it. Put stolen balance, drive it to Yamagil, but GH in with the Echo, the Fisher, the Wukong's Chain Frost. This is absolute destruction coming out from Liquid. Ing will get away, but ooh, this mid lane, it seems to be a no-go zone for King Gaming. We've seen them try for something there a couple of times, but GH is just in there and ready to but kick. T1 tower was lost on top. SEC got more space to farm up and add more pressure. I think it's time to also leave that lane. I believe on bottom lane two, that tier two tower. Oh, the slide of Vizier Chains! Samael actually caught him in the trees. SEC, he's BKB'd up, but where do you go from here? He's too, he's jumping through the tree line. They don't know. They don't know they actually got him. They'll wait in the trees. The courier passes by with the Maelstrom, but they don't know anything. His ship's in the night. EG is checking everywhere, but, he, but where he is, SEC will blink and walk away. Ready to try and chase Dark. Top barracks are so they've not got any detection. Problem is they have. They see him. They grab him. Lasso's there. They try and save Jamming with a hook shot. They're gonna put a stop to it. They've got the heck on the machine. Can they kill Costa Bill? He's falling down low, but he gets the bad off. It doesn't matter. Taken down here by the AOE. That's Costa Bill gone for 80 seconds. Adriano trying to deal with this live stealer, but he's pretty big. He's pretty tanky. The other core looking for the lockdown with the charge token. They've got a good amount of control. Is it enough? He has the rage back up. Manages to force Adriano to bleak away. Turns towards the other core with the bash. CG gets the double kill. Now for Adriana, puts the BKP, has to bleak away, Magic Missile out to the poster, that's gonna be the one down, he has to go, Scepter is not enough to help him for the magical from Infest, GGG picks up the triple kill, Lifestealer going absolutely ham, he's not even done yet, he gets the bash, gets the bash, Adriana breaks out, and Barbino's ice puff will hold back, GGG. Buyback comes out from the poster, Ing setting up with the Invis, seeing if you can find more for the side of King Gaming. Light strike to and the Laguna, straight up to Barbino, GGG comes in for the cleanup, SG now three members down. He's got the Abyssal Blade, he wants more, just gonna hit the range. The melee racks instead, the rest of his team backing him up. And with three dead on the side of SG, they're gonna have to wait things out. And the oh. blink ball, look at this, they need to do something about this live deal. With two of them, it's so hard to do, they have the silence. We'll put GGG back for the time being, they've got the lasso. Go Scepter as well, trying to drag him back and range of the tower. Again. again, again there with the swap out, does cost him his life, of course, for the 10th or 11th time. I don't know how many times that's happened, but it will keep the life stealer safe. At least do this. Didn't have enough protection that fight. I don't like all of them are too fat to actually carry a gem or a dust. It looks like just the two supports have it on Keen's side. 
Oh, oh GX, ladies and gentlemen. Echo onto them all. They do get the blink out, but that's Qian Ming down. If they can kill this Queen of Pain, it would be absolutely huge. He forces himself down, still has the blink. Got it up again in a second. They'll put the blood right, trying to dissuade Liquid from chasing. But it's not going to work. Queen of Pain's gone. He's going to... So, and we haven't been talking too much about Kaka in this game, but he's silently becoming ridiculously rich, by the way. Force, Glimmer, Axe, and 5 k gold. I love how our graph is actually just completely confused by now. It's been, uh, Plague Wards have been cleaned by the en enemy team, and then you see nine <laughs> heroes listed in the graph. Searing Chains out. Well, this is a good pickoff if they can actually get Faith. Kaka using the Familiar for the AoE stun, as well as the Glimmer. Faith drops the Tombstone, in fact. He has buyback of Marvelous to Malgos in very deep. A double rooting. They're looking for more KP. The damage oh! with the slap! Oh boy, EG! You did not want that! The curse trying to create space. The space is not created. SCC with his BKP was standing on the front lines. Heavy amounts of damage. They're burned. Maybe they can transition this into a high ground push. They've got the angle here. They're trying to find more. Severely as the temp is double. I mean, look at this damage coming through. The king, they're trying to react. He's coming in from the side. Ron has the grave just in time. Nightmare comes through. Tian Ming goes straight onto the back lines. Looks on to Adriana, but Adriana leaps out. He'll be fine. They'll take down the Venomatsu, who instantly buys back. GG trying to beat him. Jason across the field. Watch that. The edge is gone. Well, he's doing a lot. They can't kill this DP. They've lost two SG. And then this is more wrong with the grave. Keeping it alive. This DP is going to be fine. He's backing up. Saves for the time being, and GGG just cleaning up the backliners. The stun comes up on Adriano. This Verona, can he finish off the kills? Gets wrong, but no GGG lands the crucial crit to take down Adriano before he himself dies. Ultra kill for the CK. SG get wiped despite the Aegis. As we were saying, Aegis does not mean an easy fight. SG pipe completed on this Underlord. They're starting to get pretty strong here. The Venomets are going to be neutralized as. See right here, the Bane was in the middle of everyone. And the hook, just GG. a millisecond too late. He felt like he could go for more. He felt like his team was going to kill that Bane without him. Going for a little bit too much. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, she had the high ground, ground, but GGG blinks straight past them. Get the Phantasm off. Look at what Bardino, but it's so nice that the Nightmare buys Bardino time. He turns with the Brain Snap and the Fiend Grip. That quick heads up play for Bardino is going to allow SG to turn the entire fight around. Leap forward from Adriano. We're going to force back the clock. The Grave comes down in time. They've lost two on both sides. Ings still getting the oh, down with this exorcism. Adriano getting surrounded, loses the Aegis. Triple kill for Ing. This death prophet is absolutely cleaning up. Nightmare comes through. Adriano still silenced. Ing trying to chase. Book shot up for Tian Ming. They're going to get this Murano as well. Ultra kill for Ing. In a fight that looked like it, it was very close to going wrong. That reaction there from Bardino. Really nice at the start to punish the aggressive blink from the CK. But for now, Newbie grouping up. There is a nice observer ward from Evil Genius. has been watching this quite closely. Kaka again. He is really becoming one with the trees, gets the silence, doesn't however get the follow-up kick into Samael, who is threatening to blink away, Stampede already burned by Newbie, and the Nightmare is problematic for Bloodseeker, he's ready to be controlled, Fear, he doesn't have the, the uh, Fiends group up just yet, Mugi is low, but the slap from Martizi, three heroes caught, allowing Universe to cover five blast, and the three-man Sonic Wave, and lack is beautifully, this time however, the Lich Chain Frost doing some work, Evil Jesus, the damage they weren't really expecting, but maybe they just have enough to survive anyway. Arteezy ready to battle, looking to close the distance on the final surviving member of Newbie. Or does Universe try and do it solo? He can only decrepify to slow down. Now he actually has that soul ring of cooldown. Mana is back, but SEC, he'll kill off Arteezy. You came back into the fight. The drain isn't enough to bring down this four point Dragon Blood Knight. He's able to just survive and Radiant survive, and evil geniuses. Очень сильно. Мирана просто бьет так, время. Хорошо, свапнули. Мирану. Мирана под стан. Накрыли ее. Мирана огромные проблемы. Мирана погибает. Без вайбека есть курса. Зарубит Минду свои просто же. Умер. Так, и пошел ультимейт. Поздновато ультимейт, конечно, ФК, но этого хватит. Адра поймали. Адра. Убили. Байбак есть. Надо делать. Делает его. Да. 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 Да.
слишком поздно Здесь был крипает. поставлен ультимейт Манкикина. Да, поставил бы чуть раньше, Дифузу нажал бы и вообще. Да, вот сразу же после курсы видео. А вот, то есть, ждут сейчас, будут серьезные проблемы. Оставили, оставили, маны очень мало. Есть Есть банлесс. Блокерка, поймали, поставили, надо его гнать, надо гнать, надо гнать, чем там он все-таки уходит. Два ББ, выбери пак, вот сюда можно идти, да? Я не знаю. Может быть, это новый челлендж? Это кейв, Тоби. Патч, идем на первый раз. Просто отметь, это кейв, и давайте идем дальше. Здесь мы идем. 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 Здесь мы The BKB, however, is down for Arteezy. Samel wants to make the most out of this. Faith being attacked by Samel, who leaves himself for the Fissure. It's nice, it doesn't stop the SCC. Oh, and Samel is locked in by Crit's own Fissure. They jump in deeper with KP Stream Coil. EG are forced to stand their ground, but with the raw, maybe they can do it. Three heroes down, and now it's up to the Life Stealer, who's trying to run away. Toggle inside the flames, I think not, sir. KP, the sole survivor, jumps back in to end the streak of Arteezy. At least by killing him off, it makes it difficult for EG to go in for Roshan and buy his time crit. Echo Slam, not even used. Ice Pass will hold him there. KP, do you get out of this one? No! Down he will go. They have to do something to slow down King Gaming. As now with the box coming through, Ings ready to join the fray once more. Jump in from GGG. Forces their drowning to blink back, turns towards the poster with the open wounds. He has the four star. We'll keep him safe. Here There's the echo. the echo! That's what we've been looking for from Theo. Cuts in with the two-man Fisher, and he looks like he will be able to punish the cockiness of King Gaming. They get the double kill, and bam! Just like that, they have to get the hell out of there. See, I mean, we'll be fine with the hook shot. Dark and GGG trying their best still to make most of the map. What do you think about this lifestyle a bit? Not every day that we see a lifestyle go arm the into medallion themselves. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. Probably allows for them to go for that early Roshan, and... He is infested in a treant. He's trying to set the weirdest trap I've ever seen because they realize they don't really have the best vehicles. I so, mean, I like it. Yeah, it I might mean, catch if, up. If it the... here, it's oh, fine. that! He didn't expect that one. He did not expect. It works no, out, Blitz. No, no, it really does. You just don't expect that. You don't expect the treant in position. Oh, I expected that.